Yo, what's good, basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So let's talk about Paul George saying that Russell Westbrook is still a top 25 player in the NBA. I know some would disagree, and it's up for debate. I don't know if he's a top 25, but I would say he's in that range between 25 and like 50. I would lean more towards 30 plus, 40 plus, but he's in there. But he's definitely not the 94th player in the NBA. According to ESPN rankings, he's 94. Like, that sounds bogus. That sounds crazy. This man still averages 15 points per game and almost 10 assists. Yet they rank him 94. That don't even make sense. We all know ESPN is basically LeBron media. And they hate Russell Westbrook. Let's be honest. The media hates Russell Westbrook. Ever since he went to Lakers, they hate him. So, of course, you know, they're going to rank him 94. Am I surprised? No. But PG seems to feel otherwise. So he still feels like Russell Westbrook is a top 25 player in the NBA. And I'm not going to debate that too much, like I said, because, you know, he's in there somewhere between 25 and 50 in that range. If you look at his numbers, he's still putting up good numbers. His numbers are still good. He has solid numbers, averaging 15 points per game and almost 10 assists. That's great numbers for most point guard. But somehow when it comes to Russell Westbrook, you know, he's undervalued. You know, he's unappreciated. And this is because the media. Any other point guard averaging 15 points per game and almost 10 assists, they would be considered a top point guard. But when it comes to Russell Westbrook, because, you know, he can't shoot. He's not the best shooter. He has a high turnover ratio. He makes bad decisions at times. Half the times. And obviously, you know, the media hates him because of LeBron. Not like they liked him before, but now, since he have joined LeBron on the Lakers, they really hate him. So now he's really undervalued. And there's no way you could tell me this man is 94th in the NBA. 94th? Come on, man. So I would agree with Paul George in the sense that he's a 25 to 50 player. So this is what Paul George had to say. I know what players can do, how good they are, and where they rank. Russ is top 20 to 25, easy. He's still a triple-double. He proved that he can be the number one option these past playoffs. He proved he can still defend at a high level. He proved he can still dominate the game. There's not 24 other guys that can play both ends like Russ. So that's what Paul George had to say. And once again, I agree. I don't know about top 20. I wouldn't go that far, but Russ is between 25 and 50. No argument from me there. He's definitely not 94, like ESPN tried to say or portray. 94? Come on, man. Y'all got to put some sort of respect on the man's name. 94? That sounds wild. That sounds bogus. But like I said, ESPN, you know, they have a vendetta against this man. And we all know why. Not like they liked him before. Ever since he went to L.A., joined LeBron, it's been hell for this man. But he's not 94. Definitely not 94. And definitely not top 20. That's a bit too low. Or too high. He's around 25 to 50. Give or take. In there somewhere. But he's still a pretty good player. I know PG is trying to support him and I respect it. You know, he's his teammate. They're friends and he's trying to support his dude. But Westbrook is still a starting point guard in the NBA. He's still a starting point guard. He still has an impact. Even though he can't shoot, you know, he's not the best shooter, and he makes bad decisions at times, if not a lot of times, he's still a solid player. So last season, Westbrook averaged 15.8 points, 4.9 rebounds, and 7.6 assists per game during 21 regular season games with the Clippers. So he actually did pretty well, adjusted to his role. You know, they traded him from the Lakers to the Clippers. He got over there, slipped right in, did what he was supposed to do, didn't do too much. Kawhi got hurt during the playoff, and Russell went off. He did his thing. So you got to put some respect on this man's name. You know, he earned it, man. The man is a future Hall of Famer. He's an MVP, and he's earned that much respect. Even though ESPN... Every chance they get, try to bash him, you know, talk crazy. 
but we all know what that is about. But beyond all that, he's still a solid player in the NBA. He could start on any team. Still a good point guard, but he definitely needs to get his shot together because, you know, Russ can't shoot for life, but he's a good player regardless. Joining the Clippers was one of the best things that could happen to Westbrook. I mean, that team is perfect for him. He gets to play the point guard. You know, he runs the offense. Nobody is going to scapegoat him. No one is going to blame him when the team don't succeed or things go bad. Unlike on the Lakers where it's always someone getting scapegoated by LeBron or the LeBron media. So he's in a great position. And if Kawhi and PG could stay healthy and Russ could replicate what he did last season in the playoff, the Clippers could make some noise, man. And we are all waiting for the Clippers to finally be healthy. The full team is healthy so they can make this playoff push. And it's been a long time, but he's in a great situation, man. Hopefully things work out for him. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.